Hello and welcome to National Focus for Monday, August 26, 2024. I am Julian Morris. In the headlines, Thea Lafont Gadsen to be presented the highest national award. Dominica welcomes home Olympic champion. And Dominica and Serbia renew cooperation agreement. The details of the headline stories and more when we return. Ride safe, wear a helmet, safer roads in the nature aisle. This message was brought to you by the government of the Commonwealth of Dominica. Welcome back. Olympic gold medalist Thea lafont will receive the country's highest national award at this year's independence celebrations. Prime Minister the Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt made the announcement Sunday evening at the culmination of a motorcade from Portsmouth to the city in celebration of the gold medalist. For your historic performance at Paris 2024, winning Dominica's first Olympic medal, the government of Dominica has decided to grant you a cash gift of $400,000. appoint you as international sports ambassador along with a diplomatic passport. The courtesy of the diplomatic passport will also be extended to your husband. Bestow upon you Dominica's highest national award, the Dominica Award of Honor. During this year's in independence celebration, at which you will be our special guest of honor. A parcel of land in Warner. Staying in the Maho constituency, containing 7,459 square feet, in the location of the future housing project with spectacular sea and mountain views. Government will make priority a facility that provides opportunities to develop the skills of track and field athletes. The government of Dominica has the designs and has already identified a location for the construction of a synthetic track. I give you and the people of Dominica the assurance today that we will proceed with the development and construction of this facility, and upon its completion, it will be formally named the Thea Lafont gatson Track and Field Complex. The Prime Minister has also announced cash awards for the other athletes who represented Dominica at the 2024 Summer Olympic Games in Paris. As a gesture of our appreciation, we shall grant to Danik Luke, Warren Lawrence and Jasmine Schofield $20,000 each. Dominica welcomed home Olympic champion Thea Lafont Gatson on Saturday since she secured a historic gold medal in triple jump at the 2024 Paris, Paris Olympic Games. Her return marked a historic moment for Dominica and she was received with the reception fitting the occasion. Acting Prime Minister Honorable Denise Charles Pemberton offered congratulations on her success. On behalf of the Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt, the government and people of Dominica, I extend our deepest congratulations on your remarkable achievement 
at the Paris Olympics 2024. We are thrilled to welcome you back home, filled with immense gratitude for your outstanding representation of our country over the years. Your success, marked by extraordinary talent, perseverance, faith, and grace, has brought immense honor to Dominica and has inspired a generation. Your performance on the world stage will forever be etched in our nation's history. Minister for Culture, Youth, Sports and Community Development, Honorable Greta Roberts, emphasized the monumental nature of Thea's achievement to Dominica. Today, as you return home to the warm embrace of your fellow Dominicans, know that you bring with you more than just an Olympic title. You bring hope to our young athletes, pride to our citizens, and a legacy that will be remembered for generations to come. You have demonstrated the heights that can be reached when one dares to dream and commits to the pursuit of excellence. She reiterated the government's commitment to supporting the goals of Dominican athletes. We will continue to do our best to assist and ensure that those who continue to participate in whatever sporting discipline that they choose to pursue will achieve their goals. I take this moment to reaffirm our commitment as a government to championing the cause of sports and supporting our athletes as they strive to reach new heights. President of the Dominica Olympic Committee, Mr. Billy Doctorow, thanked Thea's mother and herself for their perseverance and faith in his, his leadership of the Dominica Olympic Committee. I want to highlight Thea's mother. She was the one who encouraged Thea to give the Dominica Olympic Committee under my presidency a chance because Thea was almost ready to give up a career because of the relationship that I developed previously. And her mother told her, and I'm so proud, Mrs. Lafford, that you could have had that trust in me. My mother told her, the Billy Doctor I know, he will make a difference. And I want to thank my members of my executive, the Dominic Olympic Committee, for coming together and working together and supporting Tia to the extent that we did. He thanked Ms. Lafon for her significant accomplishment. On behalf of the Dominica Olympic Committee, we, we say thank you for letting us be part of your progress for your life and you have made Dominica extremely proud. And um, as I said, whatever we do, whatever we offer you, you deserve more. But we do it genuinely and we do it willingly. And we hope that you can continue doing us proud. Olympic gold medalist Thea Lafont Gartson expressed heartfelt gratitude to the people of Dominica. It really does take a village to raise a child. And I am so grateful for the people in my village and also the villages that raised those people that have made me who I am today. To everyone watching in person, thank you. And on the other side of the screen, I'm so happy to be home. All I ever wanted to do was make you proud. That's all my goal ever was. It's all it will forever continue to be. It is always an honor and a privilege to compete for Dominica. It's always my biggest bragging right that I am a Dominican. And I promise you, in all that I do, I will continue to represent as well, on and off the track. I really am grateful for everyone here, for my teammates, to my admin, to the leaders of our nation, and for everyone that will come before me, and for those that will come after me. 
Dominicans turned out in droves on Sunday to catch a glimpse of Olympic gold medalist Thea lafont Gadsden as she proceeded in a motorcade to the city. Dominicans lined the streets from Portsmouth to Roseau to show their love and appreciation for Gadsden's historic performance at the Olympics, pulling off a jump of 15.02 meters. The motorcade culminated at the Windsor Park Sports Stadium. I have to first and foremost recognize everyone out here and greeted us along the way for the entire motorcade. Through wind, through rain, through heat, through it all, you guys came out, you showed your love, an abundance of it. And when I say that Dominica's greatest, greatest, greatest resource is the people, it is the love and affection that I have been shown today. Thank you. That only proves my point, always. Thea says her bond with the people of Dominica has been strengthened by this experience. This Olympic medal, this beautiful Olympic medal, has something very special in the middle. It has a piece of the Eiffel Tower. And we were told that it'll be a memory that wherever we take it, on the podium, back to our homelands, that there'd be a little piece of Paris with us. I want you to know that it is the same way I carry all of you in my heart. In that no matter where I go outside of the country, no matter what podium, what land, in front of whoever, I have you with me always. I will always have Dominica with me. She understands and is grateful to all those who were part of her success at the Olympics. I'm not going to sit here and say that I did this all on my own. Of course not. Of course not. We know good and well in this country that it takes a village. And I am very, very grateful to have a powerful, loving, prayer-driven, and supportive village as mine. From my parents, who supported all my athletic endeavors and even let me build a gym in their basement during COVID to continue my training, thank you. To the DOC and the DAA, for all the support, not only financially, but emotionally, and even spiritually at some times, to pray with me before he competes, I thank you. Yeah. To my dear husband, <laughs> my coach extraordinaire, who has become not only an amazing track and field partner, but an amazing life partner, please take a stand, and you deserve some applause right now. There is the mastermind behind it all. I am but a vessel, okay? I am but a vessel. Thank you, my love. <laughs> Thea says it has always been a, an honor to represent the people of Dominica. Mommy and daddy. <laughs> my dear husband, Aaron Gatson, and the people of Dominica. We did it! We did it! <laughs> We did it! You are watching National Focus. More when we return. Welcome back. As the People's Republic of China follow up the adoption of resolution towards deepening reform comprehensively to advance modernization, the Chinese ambassador to Dominica, His Excellency Chu Mao Ming, outlined how the deepening reform in ecological conservation will benefit bilateral relations between the Commonwealth of Dominica and the People's Republic of China. Deepening reform in ecological conservation will enhance China's carbon and environmental strategies and international and diplomatic strategies contributing to the creation of a clean and beautiful world. 
In the future, China will continuously enhance its ecological and environmental governance, expand international cooperation, and continue to serve as a doer on ecological conservation and climate governance, and also a trailblazer on the world's environmental governance. He says Dominica and the People's Republic of China share the same stance when it comes to preserving the environment. In recent speech, your Prime Minister called for greater international solidarity to help developing countries tackle climate change, a viewpoint that aligns closely with China's own stance. In March this year, my President His Excellency Xi Jinping met with your Prime Minister during his official visit to China and stressed that China attaches great importance to the issues of small island developing states related to climate change. Following the fourth inter international conference for SIDS held in Antigua and Barbuda earlier this year, he reiterated the Republic of China's commitment to tackling global crises, climate change alongside SIDS. China is willing to work with all parties to actively implement a, the Antigua and Barbuda agenda, fully support SIDS in achieving resilient and sustainable prosperity and jointly build a community with a shared future for mankind. As a member of the Global South, China has always shared a common destiny with other developing countries, including SIDS. Looking forward, China will further strengthen South-South cooperation and continue to provide assistance to the best of our capacity and to Dominica and other developing countries in coping with climate change as it further deepens reform comprehensively to advance Chinese modernization. Dominica and Serbia have taken a significant step to strengthen their long-standing partnership. The two countries signed a protocol of cooperation by Dominica's Foreign Affairs Minister, the Honorable Dr. Vince Henderson, and his Serbian counterpart, Marko Juric. Dominica will receive technical support in the areas of education, health, agriculture, and digitalization. Dominican students in the medical field will be able to pursue specialized training at Serbian medical schools, which offer advanced programs in English. The cooperation agreement with Serbia will enhance Dominica's access to medical supplies, including essential drugs, and provide technical assistance to medical specialists, particularly in radiology and radiography. Serbia's Minister of Agriculture has pledged to support Dominica in improving its meat processing capabilities at the National Abattoir. Dominica will also receive support in accessing climate and herbicide-resistant crop varieties, procuring fertilizer for enhanced crop production, advancing research at Dominica's seed bank and tissue culture laboratory, and integrating modern technology into agricultural practices. Serbia will also support Dominica's construction of an animal feed factory. Minister for Education and Human Resource Planning Honorable Octavia Alfred is concerned that students are not leaving school with psychosocial competence. Psychosocial competence, as defined by the World Health Organization, designates the individual's ability to deal effectively with the demands and the challenges of everyday life. We stress learner-centeredness in curriculum and teaching and learning for learners to achieve their desired outcome, yet the focus still remains on assessment. Our success is determined on how well we do on an exam. We can do what we want. And even when we are rated as being successful, the workplace still is disappointed. Because we are intelligent on paper, but we are not psychosocial competent. The Education Minister laments the fact that we seem to have lost the fun in learning. Nobody is singing a song about school days are very happy days no more. Too many teachers do not like school. Too many parents do not like school. Too many students do not like school. Too many principals do not like school. Where has the enjoyment and fun of school gone? And how can we bring it back? 
The Honourable Minister believes it's time to make the necessary adjustments to refocus in order to achieve the desired educational goals. Everything has become a subject for assessment, even games and play, and singing and dancing. We have facilitated operational flexibility to help accommodate everyone, yet so many are still out there, lost and uncared for. By no means, by no means do I mean that we must stop or give up on the work we have ongoing. We must continue, but we must find new dimension. We must continue to find ways to encourage non-duplication, to continue to provide quality education for all, and to bring back fun in school, and to ensure progress and success. The minister says while the academics are important, the development of the human being calls for much more than literacy and numeracy, empowering individuals to cope with world realities. My friends, our time is running out. We have threats of war, pandemic, poverty, food security, climate change, environmental issues and more. We continue to do things, if we continue to do things the same way, we're not going to get different results. Our biggest threat by far is lack of love for each other, lack of respect for human life, and lack of reverence for the Supreme God. We should reflect now on how are we going to incorporate education to combat these threats. Education must take seriously the mastery of interpersonal relationship skills, communicating, negotiating, empathy, problem solving, conflict resolution, peace education, healthy self-management, and caring for our fellow humans. We cannot feed our cognitive domain, but the effective domain is starved. Parliamentary representative for the Maho constituency, Honorable Kasani Laville, has commended instructors and participants of a summer music workshop concluded last weekend. The one-week summer music workshop organized by the Maho Arts Foundation was facilitated by Julie Martin, Julian Rivere and Cletus Halibut Abraham. Addressing the closing ceremony, the Honorable Parliamentary Representative said he was impressed that participants had achieved much in so little time. You have demonstrated what this has been about. You have, by your bravery, by your confidence, by your participation, by the way you played this masterpiece um, by the River of Babylon, just after one week, one week, this is not easy, you know, because I myself, I remember back then and I see one parent, um, I was a, a student of classical guitar, we were back then with Mr. Johnson teaching us. It's not easy to play these instruments and, and um, I don't know if you all know what blisters are. If you all did not know, you all know now what blisters are on your finger. Based on the student's potential, the Honorable Parliamentary Representative is convinced that the future is bright. And while you all did not sing your song that you wrote under the tutelage of Mr. Halibut, but I saw some of the masterpieces that you wrote because I was there. I came every day and I saw what you all wrote. And I tell you, the people in Calypso Association have to be scared because if you will take part in that competition, all of you are placing, I'm telling you. So I'm putting them on notice. He says parents should not restrict their children's potential career choices, but instead expose them to various career paths and keep an open mind. I want to thank in a special way the parents for allowing your children to take part in this musical workshop. This is such a remarkable thing that you all have done for them. And when I listen this morning to Kylene saying that she wants to be a guitarist, the question I ask myself, outside of this workshop, would she have said this? And um, this is the type of impact and impression that such workshops have on young people. Because we hear our children talking about doctors, lawyers, teachers, this, that, and so many other things. The world is big, the world is our playground to succeed. But if we don't expose our children to many of the avenues that they can grow and they succeed, then we have limited them. The Maho MP says his goal is to create an environment of opportunities for the people of his constituency, particularly the children. I'm proud that if we continue on this track, that we're going to have a strong Caribbean, because a strong Caribbean is dependent on a strong 
Dominica. A strong Dominica is dependent on strong communities. Strong communities are dependent on strong families and strong young people. And I have seen strength in you all. Coming up next, the Creole News Highlights with Jeno Jacob. Bienvenue à ce nouveau la Creole, nom de Jeno Jacob. Et nous avons un gros mot qui est pour vous souhaiter de la fin de la Bienvenue dans le monde. Nous avons souhaité de la bienvenue à Windsor Park Stadium. Là. Et puis, à ce côté, là, oui, Dominique. Et à la fin, on a gagné une médaille lors en Olympique en France dans les salles. Gouvernement Dominique a présenté à la fin et puis autant cadeau. Un passeport diplomatique 400 000 dollars. Il a un morceau de en un an et puis plus gros award Dominique. Gouvernement Dominique a mis autant attention à son indication. L'école neuf a bâti et puis l'église l'école Dominique a fait bien en CXC. Officier ministre éducation Magali Celestine dit gouvernement a fait ça et puis. Le gouvernement a fait ça IP parce que à présent nous avons passé online, nous avons fait um, examen avec le computer. Le gouvernement a passé sur le computer, nous avons travaillé, et nous avons hâte de nous faire plus parce que le computer nous a présent, c'est que nous avons fait une presse 10 ans. Et bien, quand nous avons avancé, nous voulons être plus modernes parce que nous avons plus en dedans online. Nous avons fait nous faire Paper One Online, Paper Two Online, Paper Free Online. Nous avons fait bon instrument pour nous faire la bien. Mais nous avons fait PVS sans nous ni. Et bien, c'est tout le a bien fait nous proud qu'on un pays avec la performance. Vous avez fait congratulations à tous les étudiants. Et bien, nous avons congratulé tous ces enfants de l'école, tous ces teachers, ces principaux. Et bien, nous avons dit merci CXC pour choisir Dominique. Et bien, nous avons gardé pour l'autre année encore parce qu'il y a eu plusieurs, plusieurs um, cérémonies qui ont fait en différents pays. Comme ça, je hope que vous venez à Dominique encore dans le near future. Ambassade de la République chinoise, les excellentes Chou Maoming, dit qu'il va continuer à supporter la conservation écologique de Dominique. Et de Dominique et puis pays chinois qui bénéficient. Des pays salariés ont la même position à ce conservation environnement. Il parlait contre le commitment des pays chinois pour gagner, gourmer, ça c'est challenge, changement climatique. Dominique et puis bien vini ensemble pour bas relations diplomatiques yo plus fortes. Il aussi a un agrément diplomatique. Dominique est tapé assistance en affaires éducation, santé, agriculture et puis affaires digitales. Honorable Dr. Vince Henderson, si il y a un agrément et puis officier gouvernement serbia, Marco Juric. Étudiant Dominique qui a étudié médecine en Serbia. L'hôpital Dominique est tapé au et puis assistance en radiologie. Serbia a aussi assisté Dominique et puis développement abattoir. Ça, c'est tout à ce nouvel an créole. Changez-nous en temps cyclone. Continuez à faire préparation. Non, M. Geno Jacob, au revoir. Thank you, Geno. And now, today's weather advisory. Lingering moisture and instability associated with the trough system were expected to continue affecting the island earlier today. This was expected to result in mostly cloudy skies with scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms. People in areas prone to flooding, landslides and falling rocks are advised to be alert and exercise caution. Additionally, a weak tropical wave is expected to maintain cloudiness during the early part of the night. Slight to moderate seas can be expected in open water, with waves expected to peak near 5 feet. And as we are in the midst of the hurricane season, individuals are advised to take precautions to protect themselves and their families. For today's hurricane tip, conditions may change quickly. Be prepared to evacuate to a shelter or neighbor's home if necessary. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. Be sure to follow GIS Dominica on Facebook, YouTube and on Twitter. You can also drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm. From all of us here on the GIS News Production team, I am Julian Morris. Thanks for watching.